I have to say something. I, I think I owe you. I, I you feel do. like I, I owe you, you an apology. You do. Because you've never actually been on our show. No. <laughs> and it's not because we didn't invite you or anything, but just what happens is you other. Worse. It's almost worse. It's worse. You, you invite you, me, and then, and we then bump you, you. you bump me. We bump you for the show. For more important people. Yeah. I mean, well, well, I'm admitting it. I, that's what I want to say. Multiple times. The first yeah. time, I was very excited to yes. talk to you because I've known you for a long time. And then Michael Jordan. I know. Michael Jordan's in the building. I, I kind of understand that. He one. was downstairs. I know. He was shopping at the NBC Experience <laughs> store. He's a big Friends fan. He loves that he store. He loves Friends. Yeah. And he always frequents that store. Mm -hmm. And I noticed him because I was down there as well. Because I also I was making an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed, and I said, oh, my gosh, Michael, would you come on? Do you mind? And yeah. I apologize. We had a bump. Here's a picture of Michael Jordan on the show. And we had a great time. That was back late night. We had a great time. We talked about everything. It was really, really good. And he actually wore his Bulls yeah. jersey, which he rarely. He never does. He never does. He hasn't played basketball in years. Nope. He looks but great. He looks, yeah. <laughs> he's still, he still has got it. He's, yeah. he's, he's got game. Yeah. And then you were going to come on again, and who walks in? But the man himself, yeah. Harry Styles. And I said to myself, yeah. Yeah, and I, know, I, go, I know. I'm so I'm sorry, so we had a bumpy for that. Yeah, and there's Harry. Harry came on. And that was. <laughs> I remember this interview because can you zoom in a little bit there? I remember oh Harry God. was telling me how he does his hair, how he styles <laughs> his hair. And what he told me was that he uses two, two blow dryers aimed one this way and one aimed that way. And that's how he, that's that's how how he, he, that's how he does his hair. It was a magical, magical interview. He's a magical person. Then Khaleesi from Game of Thrones <laughs> was, in, was in the NBC Experience shop. Yeah. They all shopped. They're all shopping down there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very popular store. Yeah, I know. And so Khaleesi was on our show and <laughs> with, a, with a little dragon, too, on her shoulder. She had a baby <laughs> dragon. That's right. And uh, yeah, and that was a fake. There was a fake sticker, cleavage, a sticker, a sticker there of they, cleavage. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, Kristen doesn't have that. We have to. <laughs> but the sticker. then, of course, Super Bowl champ Peyton Manning was on her show, dressed, <laughs> dressed in his full football, his Denver, his bronze uniform. I've, I've never looked more. Small and weak. It looked like a I looked boy. Like a boy. You look like, like a little boy. boy came out. Yeah. That was actually a fun one. Cause... That was <laughs> when you told people Peyton Manning was coming out. Yeah. The amount of applause. Yeah. And then when they saw me, it was <laughs> half the people just stopped. I think just like this is such a bummer. Yeah. 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 They're like this is such they a bummer. Really were. <laughs> they really were. Thank so you excited. for always doing that fun stuff. Um, but now uh, I'm here. I have a question. We yes. had a question from your co-star Steve Carell, oh, okay. was dying a burning question mm -hmm. to ask you for your interview, and okay. he helped us out. So, Steve, what is your question for Kristen? Hi, Kristen. I understand that you enjoy making old-timey cocktails. Could you share your recipe for a sea cloud or a fuzzy wormhole? <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are known, you are known for your elaborate I cocktail parties. You really are. Yes. And so what goes? I know the sea cloud. A sea cloud. Oh. That's an old drink. No, I've never heard. Now what? What goes into it? How do you make a sea cloud? Well, it's funny. It starts with salt water. <laughs> a cocktail. <laughs> like from the ocean. From the ocean. Really. Salt water. Salt water. Um, <sighs> orange wedges. Orange wedges. Like more than one. Three. Three orange wedges. Three. Three half three oranges. Half oranges. <laughs> wow. That's really like an, It's really an orange and a half. And a half. And a little bit of rum, a little bit of milk. There you go. Call it a day. Done. Call it a day. And it's served uh, lukewarm. <laughs> it was. A lukewarm cocktail. Because they're on the sea and you don't, have, they sea, don't have ice. don't have ice on the ship. Of course, an old-timey cocktail. Yep. And how about the, the fuzzy wormhole? Ooh. That is. I don't normally share this one. <laughs> this, is an old, this is an old family yes. recipe? It's served in an empty Campbell's soup can. <laughs> Do you save them for the occasion? Well, you, have, you have to. When you have the cocktail yes. party, everyone gets an empty yes. Campbell's soup can of a cocktail. Tequila. Of tequila. A little apple juice. Apple juice. And, and the, key the key is, is when you make the ice cubes, you put fuzz in the water. Now, you say that like it's a thing that we would have lying around the kitchen, fuzz. 
What is fuzz? <laughs> like fuzz, like fuzz from a sweater, or that you just find you keep on your fuzz. For when I make the when I'm having a party. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a great yes. question, and oh, I'm and, gonna thank him for that. Yeah, you, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. <laughs>